Uh, good morning, everyone. Okay, today we are going to discuss about our SCL with six, uh, <coughs> SCL with six tasks with regarding the topic describing art. Uh, before that, I'm going to introduce myself first. My name is Muhammad Nazir Shafiq bin Muhammad Nasir, and I am from uh, College 17, Biomedical Science Student, first year, metric number 180746. Hi, my name is Kavinish and like Paskar, you all can call me Kevin. I'm from College 17 too, Biomedical Science course, first year, and my matrix number is 179681. Hi, my name is Shah Nubi Aiman, I'm from Science Biomedical, uh, from College 17. My metric number is 180104. So, regarding the task, we are given nine pictures uh, about, about an art. Uh, so, Shami Udin, what picture that interests you the most? Which number? I choose picture number four. It's number five. Oh, I just picture number five. Uh, what interests you most about this photograph? It interests me because it is simple. It's just about a, a balloon float. And the color of the balloon is very vibrant. And it's, and it's orange. How would you describe this painting to a person who couldn't not see? Um, I can describe it by... Um, many balloons were tied to the trunk of a tree with uh, buttress root. Um, this caused the tree to rise up it, in a closed room. Uh, what do you think is it, uh, going on in this picture? Um, I think it's about uh, one balloon cannot make the tree to rise, but a lot of them can make that possible. The tree cannot rise even further because there is uh, a, there's a ceiling in the close room. And in your opinion, what message is the artist trying to convey? I think the artist want to convey about uh, the balloon. A balloon represents an individual which is impossible for a person to, uh, to do a heavy task which represent by the trunk of tree. So a lot of people cooperate will make that possible. Uh, in your opinion, what is the suitable topic for the photograph and why do you choose the topic? Why do you choose the name? The name. I choose the title um, one word. Eh? Up. Because mm -hmm. it remind me of a movie uh -huh. where the character lived in the house which was carried out by a group of balloon. Uh, mm -hmm. What what about you, Andrew? Uh, the, the picture that interests me the most is the fourth picture. Fourth picture. Yes, uh, and <coughs> what interests me most about that is because how the ability of the artist to slice and balance the apron on the same size and proportion, forming a stable monument. Uh, this art resembles how its slices were arranged uh, carefully and neatly, forming stories of slices of apple. The, there's a presence of this uh, purple marble, if you notice, at the edge of the apple, that symbolizes foreign body, which uh, symbolizes disturbance that try to shake off the balance of the apple. What do you think is going on on this picture? How did you arrive at that idea? Uh, I think the picture is more... Uh, as I can see, uh, this picture is about how two apples are complete each other. If you observe the picture, there is actually there are two apples and we, can, and we only see one apple because how the size and the proportion of the each apple which uh, were equal and even evenly evenly proportioned 
I'm what the artist trying to convey in my opinion is about the unity which is how two people or organization will become great and success as you can see there is eight stories of the slice of apple and even though there's presence of the disturbance of the foreign body which is symbolized by, by the purple marble the monument is uh, still stable so what the title will give to that and i for me i think the suitable title for that is jenga Yes, uh, Jenga is actually a, a game, a, what do you call that? A block, block uh, where, where you arrange the block, then you have to remove one, one by one, uh, uh, to make it stable. We remove and put on top, remove and put on top. How about you, Kevin? Uh, as for me, I choose the sixth picture among the nine pictures. What interests me about this photograph is that the whole concept of inserting the pipe into an orange it's very unique and very interesting because I like the, the idea on the orange and the pipe itself and the one that attracted me on the first side when I went through the list of pictures is it is extremely organic you know we have organic and inorganic substance right uh, this orange is very organic and the idea is very fresh so it, it catch my attention. Well, how do how you want to describe the picture to those who can't see it? Oh, as for that, I can describe it as, you know, a silver pipe is poked into a very well-rounded shape and brightly or vibrantly colored, orange colored orange, so that the juice can be withdrawn from the orange itself. We can see a droplet down there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as for me, I think that uh, in this picture, um, we, I can see that if a person have an idea, they should voice it or express it, which is very important for them. And same goes uh, for their feeling. You know, if we keep on uh, the feeling to ourselves, it will make ourselves burdened. And I also um, I came to the to this idea because of the droplets of the orange juice from the pipe that will make others understand about ourselves, the taste that we produce for them. What the artist is trying to convey? In my opinion, the artist is trying to convey that I can, uh, if you want to make others understand about yourself, you should present to them what you have, what talent that you portray, and what are you trying to convey and reveal about yourself. Okay, in this, uh, the pipe, uh, the pipe represents the effort that one should take to express their self, their personalities and so on, their feeling also. While the droplets of orange juice can be said that it is the taste that one gives to others, which make it then sweeter or bitter, that gives them the perspective of themselves to others. And as for the title for my picture, I will choose that unleash yourself which is very catchy for me and because um, the orange uh, as we know orange at the outside is very bitter the skin itself is very bitter once you peel and eat the inside of the orange it's very sweet and you will love it and no one will know who you are unless you express it so i think that unleash yourself is the best is the best title for the picture that i chose that's a very good opinion, Kelvin, Shamyudin. I think that's all for our discussion today. Thank you. But uh, I have a question. Oh, 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 oh. I know. Okay. About the upright, I think that when the balloon floats, uh -huh. uh, a trunk can be lifted. What is the uh, role played by the trunk? Role. Yeah. Yes. The trunk represents the uh, heavy tuck. Okay. And any uh, other questions? Uh, how about the how about the orange? The how about the droplet there? If you, if you can see there is like yeah. a pinch, a, a tiny, tiny droplet. droplet. Uh, what does that symbolize? Symbolize that symbolize the the personality that you have that you must show other. You you must not show everything. It's just a little bit of yourself will be enough. 
question? Any question? I think I have no question. Yeah, I'm clear about uh, the uh, discussion. Sunday. I think so that's all for our discussion today. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you.